Oh, three hours after that, Blue Origin launched their new Shepard suborbital rocket with another crew of six paying customers, including the, f including the first Egyptian and Portuguese citizens to reach space, as well as one of the founders of Dude Perfect, whose trick shots you've surely seen on YouTube. T minus ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, command engine start, two, one. Shepard has cleared the tower and is heading to space. Godspeed, Titanium Feather. On the left-hand side of your screen, you can see that we are gaining speed as New Shepard gains altitude. We started at about 3,700 feet above median sea level, and that's where it launched site one. Okay, so the flight lasts about 10 minutes from launch to landing, the crew capsule reaching an altitude of about 104 kilometers, just above the Kármán line. They experience up to three minutes of weightlessness, 14 times longer than is possible in a parabolic uh, airplane flight on the Vomit Comet. Now, they do not show us, because this is a paid experience, uh, Blue Origin has chosen not to show live views from the crew capsule, um, you know, because this is not some mission per se. It's, it's, a, it's a ride, essentially, and they don't, I guess they want to, you know, respect their customers' privacy by not showing them uh, uh, potentially, you know, getting nauseous or whatever. They want it to be a private experience. But um, the booster lands first propulsively. It looks like it's coming in much too fast, but the single BE-3 engine is quite capable of slowing it down, allowing it to hover over to the landing pad. Center of mass and center of pressure having inverted relationships now great close-up of the b3 engine there it is engine ignition engine relay coming in for a landing Booster touchdown. Welcome back to Earth, New Shepard. For a lot of us at Blue, this moment in flight is one of our proudest moments, really showcasing what the BE-3 engine and the New Shepard booster are capable of. Really just incredible engineering. No matter how many times we've seen this happen, it just never gets old. They seem to, uh, they must clean the pad after this. Like a lot of times, reused boosters and launch pads, they get super sooty and grubby and whatever, you see those scorch marks from the landing, but uh, that paint looks fairly fresh. Uh, I'm guessing they, they uh, clean off and repaint the, the uh, landing pad after every launch. Again, since this is a paid experience and their customers want everything to be pristine. So three minutes later, the crew capsule touches down under its parachutes, its landing cushioned by a burst of compressed gas. Titanium feather is on its way back to Earth. We're not gonna die. That shout was from the dude perfect guy. Uh, you know, if I paid a million dollars for this experience, which, although the prices aren't published and they're not public, um, uh, some of the tickets have sold for approximately a million dollars. Um, I'm not sure that I, I'm sure it would be an exhilarating experience, but I'm not sure that I would want, uh, you know, YouTube bro screaming in my ear uh, the whole time, which from the audio from the crew uh, capsule, it seemed like he, he did. But in any case, um, yeah, a soft touchdown as always for the new Shepard capsule. 
Touchdown Titanium Feather 